many ways are there to destroy a 200,000 pound cruise ship? Let's find out. Hello everybody, I'm Kindly Kian and welcome back to Floating Sandbox. This is our cruise ship for the day. It's a lovely, lovely ship. I guess it's called the RPM Voyage. And look, look at this. You got, you got a slide up there. Imagine all the people that are having just a great day sliding on the top of a giant cruise ship. Beautiful. But we're going to test out some different uh, tools for science and stuff. Like pick and pull. Not for your boogers. Don't be weird. Can I just like grab on to, to something? Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, you guys didn't need that, right? That's like a that's like a Doppler, right? That's for like tracking weather on the cruise ship. What about this whole section of the cruise ship? Like that that doesn't seem very important. You think we can we can do something with that? It just seems like dead weight. So let's go ahead and remove this section. Oh, oh my gosh, that is crazy. We don't need that. Yeah, let's just throw that over there. Who needs it? What about these emergency boats here? Do you need those? I can't imagine any kind of emergency happening. Oh no. Okay, well, we just ripped a hole through the center of the ship. That's kind of cool. No more fun, folks. No more. Oh no, gosh. Oh, oh, it's, it, you see that? It's like warbling. Oh no. Well, okay, it's starting to fracture in the middle and we didn't even do anything in the middle. Oh, that seems not good. What, what about this part? Do you need this part? Oh no. What have I done? Is this important? You don't need that. The, the smoke? Get rid of that smoke. That seems dangerous. Yeah, okay, we cleaned that up. Whew. Now everybody's safe. Everybody will be totally fine. This whole top section has fallen off. It's like hanging on for dear life. The, okay, that, yeah, that top section's going to the deep blue. Seems bad. Seems pretty bad. Uh, this is crazy how this part's starting to split. I wonder if we can kind of help it. Let's see if I can, like, pull on something that'll... That'll finally... Send it. Ooh, ooh, there's a lot of things happening. I love how it's like, hey, there's an emergency over here. Really? I hadn't noticed. Oh, there goes the power. There goes the power. I thought for sure the thing was going to split apart. <laughs> Turns out this is the whole thing's going to the bottom of the ocean. Bummer. Can I grab a shark? No, I can't grab a shark. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there there she goes. There she goes. I don't think boats are supposed to do that. Right? Like, normally they're supposed to be horizontal and above the water. Turns out being vertical and under the water um, kind of transforms this thing from uh, a boat into uh, like an underwater skyscraper. That I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Multi-purpose. I, I really want to see how this thing lands. How cool would it be if it just like, oh, dude. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I, I was going to say like, what if you could make it so that the the ship like stays standing up so you can you can change the the kind of the lay of the land here like you could just kind of prop it up. And there you go. It's an underwater skyscraper. Like I said, very cool and very broken. And then we'll just encapsulate it so that we don't have to look at it anymore. Okay, we're back. Everything's fine. Never was I ever concerned. I'm wondering, can you like build up so that this thing is just sitting on top of a big old chunk of land? I just, I don't want to break it with the actual... Uh, terrain, but I want to basically beach it. Okay, okay. It's getting getting a little tricky here. Hold on. Hold on. 
Are we still in water? I guess technically we're still in water. I mean, if I take the terrain over the water level, I've basically made like a little pool for, for the, just for this cruise ship that is never going to be able to escape. But if I build it up to here, it's just gonna kind of encapsulate it, isn't it? Yeah. So if I come back down, is it still good? It's still good. The ship is totally fine. Can I pick it up? Can I pick up the whole ship and just like place it onto a, a dry area? I hate that, it's just a cliff. I have move. <gasps> I can. And I can just set you down. Oops. <laughs> I guess like, I thought I was setting it down pretty softly, but I probably did just drop it from like 50 feet, even though it looked like a little itty bitty bit of space. Uh, remember this thing is massive. And uh, that did, that, that, that definitely did some damage. Well, what if we just pick it up <laughs> and just drop it? <laughs> oh man. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it imploded. Holy cow. Okay. Fun new idea. Let's reload our ship. <laughs> I love that I have like a little swimming pool for it now. How high do we have to drop it from to essentially turn it into dust? It almost turned to dust the last time we dropped it. We dropped it from a little higher this time. That is brutal. There's not a lot left here. But hey, look at the bright side. We still sliding. Still living their best life. We're going even higher. <laughs> this is going to take so long just for it to fall. Oh, man. I guess technically things that are falling out of the sky hit what they call terminal velocity. So at some point, you can't fall any faster. So maybe we've already hit that point. But I gotta know. Turns out, uh, dropping it from that height pretty much leaves nothing. Let's try just a little bit higher. You know we gotta. Going up. This is actually the max. This is as high as you can go in the sky until your cruise ship becomes a space shuttle. <laughs> they have no idea what's about to happen, do they? They're just living their best life. Just going about their day. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Yeah, okay. Is the slide still intact? <sighs> We're good. Then everything is totally fine. Now we can also rotate. So if I hold shift. <gasps> okay. Let's just let's just see what happens. A little curious. That's all. I just I just want to know what happens when you drop a cruise ship vertically from like 8,000 feet in the sky. This is no big deal. Whatever. Like here we go. <laughs> <laughs> The way that the bottom half just evaporates. Honestly, it survived better than I expected. Uh, I got to give credit where credit's due. The whole front half is is there, sort of. But wow, that was that was very satisfying. I would like to try something though. If we beach a ship and then send out a tsunami, do you think we can get the ship to to? get back in the water. <laughs> like, how cool would that be? <laughs> Let's try it. Trigger rogue wave. Where's, where's this rogue? Oh, that's a rogue wave that, pff, whatever. No, we want tsunamis. Now we're talking. Okay, so it's coming in from this side, not the way that I was planning for it to come, but hey, whatever. Can this tsunami pick up the ship and send it back into the ocean. 
And you know what? I'll, I'll turn on the, the engines in reverse, which will probably do absolutely nothing. But maybe they'll help. I wonder what's going to happen when it hits this edge. Hopefully nothing. Maybe I should have adjusted the terrain so that the tsunami had a slightly easier path to our boat. Let's see what happens. Oh, it just goes over it. It's like, whatever. <laughs> it doesn't even, doesn't even phase it. Although it does seem like it's kind of losing some, some oomph. It's not losing any oomph. It's totally fine. Save me, Tsunami. Words that have never been said because tsunamis do not save. They do the opposite. You need to be saved from a tsunami. Tsunamis do not do the saving. Here we go. What's going to happen? Is it just going to get flooded? Okay. 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 D yes. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, well, like I said, tsunamis do not do the saving. And uh, that's pretty clear. <laughs> but that was sure fun to watch. Holy cow, that was awesome. All right, a laser cannon. <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, I think step one is cut it in half with a laser cannon. Oh my gosh. It's like a knife through butter. Oh, it's starting a fire. It seems like the laser can't cut once it goes underwater, which I guess makes sense. Well, eh, I mean, it still cut it pretty good. Let's see. No, I mean, it's getting through the water. That's what I was going to say is like a little water. I don't think is going to stop four simultaneous laser cannons concentrated on one single spot. Uh, it does seem like it's a little bit harder for it to cut through once you get to the part that is underwater. But also like the damage that it does above deck is enough to make up for it. That's for sure. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save the, the captain. Oh, no, I'm not saving the captain. I just... I just kind of unsaved the captain. Are water slides flammable? Yep. They sure are. That is so crazy. And then the, the fire should go out. See? I was just... I was just worried about the fire spreading. So... I'm glad that we got that taken care of. No problems here. Inject and or remove pressure. So, okay. If I if I fill the ship with pressure, like the, the lower chambers, will it just eventually pop like a balloon? Or will it like float better? <laughs> what if I just like inject some pressure up here? It doesn't really seem to, to do anything. So if I hold the shift key, it should remove pressure. Yeah, yeah, okay. So it's like sucking all the air out. But I don't, I, I mean, it seems like this thing is designed to not be affected by that, right? It seems unconcerned with whatever I'm doing. So how about water? Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. But I can extract the water, too. Look at that. That's kind of cool. See, it's, it's floating back up. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to test the limits. How well can this thing handle taking on a whole bunch of water? Probably not too well, if I had to, to guess. So so it seems like this this red section is like a bunch of separate chambers. I wonder, actually, now that we've got these filled up with water... Do you think adding uh, like air pressure would change anything? That's an interesting idea. Let's inject with pressure air. It doesn't seem to be changing. Dang, that's a, oh, <laughs> they just lost power. Uh, I was gonna say though, that's a lot of water and this thing's still kind of chugging along. In fact, does it move? 
Wow. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Engines aren't looking. Okay, the engines are are going. Oh no. Oh no. You kind of are are heading in the wrong direction. You don't want to go underwater. You would like to stay above the water. Let's add some more water. This, this thing is not looking good though. Put some more water in here. We'll just even things out. We're just trying to get the nose up. Keep the nose up. Oh no. Oh, all the, the sparking. That ain't good. The engine's not going anymore. Yeah. I think she's going down. Let's see how much it takes though. I mean, this is still pretty impressive. All of the chambers along the bottom of the ship are, are completely full. And this this guy's still floating. RPM Voyage. Quite the beast. But of course, you know, all good things must come to an end. There, there's going to be a tipping point. You can't hold this much water and stay afloat. This is just not the way physics work. Oh, also, that was a pretty big wave. Look at that thing making its way. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. This, yeah. It, it's going to hit a tipping point. There's going to be a point where the water brings it down to the point where the water is too high up. And then it's going to start filling all those chambers even more with just ocean water. And I don't even have to do anything. I'm still very impressed that this thing is not completely submerged. Like the, the nose is definitely getting pretty low there, but this is, this thing is, is hanging in there. Stay strong. RPM voyage. Stay strong. Is it actually pumping out water? Like I'm definitely adding water, but it, uh, maybe it's just cause it can hold so much. The water is, is consolidating at the bottom. I think that's what's happening. Cause this is, this is not looking good for RPM voyage. But I'm still unbelievably impressed that this thing is is still floating. It's not running. The engines are gone. You're just kind of bobbing up and down in the middle of the ocean. But at least you're not sinking to the bottom of the ocean. How are you holding this much water, dude? This is crazy. Okay, this has to be the tipping point. Like, look at how far down the nose is. How? How are you not completely underwater? This is nuts. I mean, it just goes to show how much it actually takes to sink a modern day cruise ship. It's a lot of water. Should I start putting water up on the top? I guess I kind of have to. This thing is fighting. It's just, it is pure willpower to stay afloat. I'm not going down. <laughs> You'll never stop me. I will float forever. Okay, the, the the top of the ship is now going underwater. Like how? I'm speechless that you're 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 hanging in there. Like at this point the captain is still above water. Slightly. <laughs> right? That's like the captain's deck. They're they're way up at the top so they can see everything. He's like I think we can, I think we can get out of this. I think we're still good, guys. Don't, don't give up. I think we're gonna be okay. Get the buckets. Get the buckets. Those buckets aren't big enough. We're gonna need slightly bigger buckets, I think, guys. Guys, where'd everybody go? Captain is literally underwater. Everybody. Uh, yeah. Not looking good for the RPM voyage. But, I mean, still, there's still... Portions of the ship that are above water. That's crazy. We've been at this for like five minutes straight. I've been just dumping water. And RPM Voyage is fighting with every ounce of, of power that she's got. Oh. Oh, what? What? How are you... How, how are the engines running? What is happening? How is this thing alive? It will not give up. It will not 
let go. Propellers aren't even in the water. And they're running. How? <laughs> this is so crazy. I guess maybe because, like, the ship is so tilted that, like, the water that was flooding the generator or, like, the engine room is, is now not touching the the mechanics or i i don't know i listen i play video games on the internet i know nothing about cruise ships but i am thoroughly impressed that this thing is still not fully in the water absolutely insane how and the engines are running the power is on the captain he's still down there we're going to be fine we're going to get out of there <laughs> He's like underwater with a bucket trying to scoop the water off of the boat. You're not gonna make it, dude. I'm sorry. I know the, the saying the captain must go down with the ship, but there's there's no salvaging this. The thing is upside down. It's literally doing a, a flip. But somehow the engines are still running. What the heck? What is this? Watertight compartment. I've now closed some kind of compartment. I don't know what it does. Can, does the horn work? The horn works! <laughs> so dumb. Oh, man. That's great. That is great. Okay, now I've turned the watertight compartment back off. And um, I think actually turning that on was, was keeping the ship where it's at. Now it's starting to sink a little bit more, but it's still slight. I mean, there's still portions of it that are above water. Credit where credit's due. You're insane. RPM voyage. But can you beat a chainsaw? No. Turns out you can't. Actually, oh my gosh. Okay, that's what I want to do. Reload and then just slice it like a Subway sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of love that the top half is still floating. Bottom half is gone. But yeah, you know, that was just that was just dead weight. We didn't need that part. You know, ch chop that up. Just get that all out of here. Let's let's clean that up. Get get out of here. Look at you. Look at you, RPM Voyage. You're sleek. Aerodynamic. I bet you can go like three times faster than you used to. Look at you go. Champion of the ocean. What is this? timer bomb what is the timer on it is it just it's it's the actual wick okay that was a little bit more destructive than i was expecting how about just oh they can't light because they're underwater genius okay well we'll just put them above water problem solved Yes, problem solved. <laughs> problem solved or problem created. Depends on how you're looking at it. Can I make the ship drive off of like a cliff? Like basically a waterfall. Can I create a waterfall in this game? Is that is that an option? I know you can use the wave maker. So maybe I can use the wave maker to like create a negative wave kind of oh oh it's kind of finicky but that's oh gosh oh no <laughs> it's, are you gonna be able to come back up from that one okay you're kind of gonna get some air that's gonna be sick do a kickflip I'd love to see a a cruise ship do a kickflip. I guess it would be more like a barrel roll if you're like in a vehicle of some sort, but that would still be pretty cool. That was that was pretty good. I wonder if you can I'm I'm trying. I, like I don't fully understand the the physics of the the wave maker. You can definitely create negative waves. The problem is is that like I can't pull down the wave all the way to the bottom there i don't know if it's because of like just the sheer amount of water 
it's like restricting me because it has nowhere to go. How that works. I'm not a scientist, not even close. We're actually destroying a ship, not with waves, but with unwaves. Look at this. What is happening here? What is that? I don't understand what is happening here. That's kind of scary. I would not want to be driving a boat through that. That's for sure. Oh, oh no. As if, as if all this chaos wasn't enough. Hey, let's throw a tsunami in there. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. It's just going to get eaten by the negative waves. Or not. Can I, can I kill a tsunami? Can I like un-tsunami the tsunami? I totally can. Look at that. Look at that. I turned it into a much more manageable wave. Is that going to save the, the RPM voyage? I'm thinking no. <laughs> How many flips have we done at this point? Who knows? It's a good time, though. Best cruise ship trip ever. A heat blaster? So you can, like, super heat? It doesn't really seem to do anything, but I can freeze, too, right? Whoa, whoa. What happens if I freeze the, the propeller? Like, do you think it'll run? Or is it having a hard time because it's underwater? That might be a problem. What if I freeze the smokestacks? Just just freeze them shut. No, that doesn't work. Everybody having a good time on the, the water slide? Now it's an ice slide. Bummer. Here, I'll heat it up. There you go. There you go. All better. Nice and warm. What if I freeze the, the captain uh, area? Eh. They're fine. They're well insulated. They wore their winter coats. Is it an antimatter bomb? How, how do I... How do I trigger it? How do I set it off? D. No? N? Oh. What the heck? Oh! Okay. Um. Yeah. That was incredible. Can I just put that in the water? I can't put it in the water. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at all the... Look at all the dust. Alright, that's one way to destroy a cruise ship. 